Well, thanks everyone. So gamification is uh, something that we do a lot of, and a lot of times we don't even realize it, but we, we, the more you turn something into something that's fun, the more you want to do it. So for example, when you uh, get rewards for doing something, you're going to do it more. So obviously, you know, my wife and I, we live in the LA area. When we go to the beach, that's a reward in and of itself. So some of the things uh, may not have uh, rewards beyond what you do. So what Pixios has done is created ways to have rewards to do, to do things that you, you may want to do, but you may want to do more if there are more rewards built in. So what, what we do with Pixios is, uh, here's our mission here, is to basically to transform art creation into a process that where collectability becomes viral and it's just a game. So this is a, a, a close up here of the, our flagship product, Pixios Paint. And uh, it, it launched back in February. And this is an area that I worked on a little bit. I'm also an artist, I'm an art collector too. I probably have one of the biggest collections of uh, NFTs on Ethereum, non-fungible token, rare digital art on Ethereum. Have a pretty big collection on Counterparty as well, uh, running on top of Bitcoin. And then EOS is about to have its own rare digital art gallery through uh, Pixios will be one of the first rare digital art galleries on EOS. It's going to be launching next month. So we're excited about that. But uh, this, th this little thing here is actually a milestone in art history for gamification. I'll be talking about it more as we go forward. But just think about, I'm going I'm to throw out three things. All right. Think about these things. Okay. What, what do a, an online art wall slash game, slash kind of gambling prospects, because if somebody paints over what you paint on, you actually, you lose what you have created, but you get crypto in exchange for it. So what does that have in common with a slot machine that's digital, but instead of getting tokens, you get rare digital art from the slot machine. And then also a 3D online art gallery where you, you're kind of walking virtually through this digital gallery and you actually have incentives to collect art and you get a rewards as you walk through and it, when you explore, you get more rewards for be becoming a collector. So all these things, what they have in common is gamification. And so this is what we do. We, and here's a little mock-up of a, a slot machine that we do uh, want to build next year where it will spit out rare digital art. You could, you, you, you pull the, you press your buttons, you put in the tokens and you get art out of it at, at a randomized, uh, at a randomized process. So what we're doing is we're basically turning gamers into artists, artists into gamers and art collectors into gamers too. There's a lot of crossover there. Uh, and I know that because that's what happened to me. I, I started as a artist, became an investor, became a collector, and I'm, I'm a kind of an older guy, but I also late in life became a gamer because of the interest in art and the crossover. So think about uh, the, the phone industry. You know, I, I still remember the old, you, you know, you put your finger in the hole and you roll, but da, 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 you know, the dial, you know, is just a landline in your house. And the, the telecom industry, they created a whole new demand by turning it, by turning that phone device into something that is full of games, is more interactive, and that's what we're going to be doing with art and art projects. We're going to be gamifying it more so it'll be more fun. And it's going to have a, because it's digital, there's going to be a lot lower barrier to entry. It won't be as stuffy. Sometimes people think of art, oh, it's stuffy. It's, you know, you got to be a millionaire. But it's going to, it's going to, there will still be expensive art. But we're seeing now that there's also affordable. You could become a collector at $5 a pop. And, and you could become a collector at, at mid-range too and, and scale up as your income increases. So just to give you an idea of what we're talking about in terms of market size, um, so you have the, the art market estimates, uh, last year estimate uh, is $64 billion annual revenue. And then the gaming market is $100 billion. All right, so even if Pixios or a few of us banded together to do, to do some projects together, uh, we love partnering uh, with, uh, you know, with other EOS or other blockchain projects uh, like Sense and others, even if we just captured this much, just 0.005% and 0.002% of these markets, which is nothing, it's, it's dust. 
We're talking about over $500 million. So that's the potential here. And again, if you're in this room, you're basically have first mover advantage because most of the rest of the world is not really thinking on this level. So it's an exciting time to be part of it. Our eco, the ecosystem that Pixios is building, it's a play to earn. You play the games, you get a little crypto, and then you can buy some rare digital art with it. Or vice versa, you issue rare digital art and you earn crypto back, and then you could play the games and, and, and uh, scale in at higher levels. So there's all sorts of integrated e economic schemes built in to help incentivize collecting art, issuing art, playing the games. It's all integrated. Here's the art piece uh, that Nanu Burks and I, she's one of our featured artists. We work together. Um, she did this, she did this, and then I added this. And there'll be two versions released uh, in our NFT Rare Digital Art Gallery uh, coming out next month. One will be animated, and one will be uh, a still image. So there's, there's a lot of room for collaboration uh, on the blockchain here. Here's just a few of the, the things that you, be, you can do with the Pixios token. We've published quite, this quite a bit, but, but just think about a, an ecosystem where you can, it, you're playing games with the token, you're issuing art, you're staking the coins to release more art, you're collecting the art, you're trading, buying, selling, auctioning off. There's a lot of things you could do uh, in, uh, soon you'll also be able to hire freelance artists with this stuff. So it's a lot of cool things. User generated content is a big part of what we're doing. So uh, with the Pixios canvas that we're working on, we have a lot of people contributing it to it. And we also have a featured artist program. And, we, and we're looking for more featured artists uh, as well, as long as they're, they, you know, they want to be in the crypto space. So we, we do have a, a bunch now. But our site is so many different things. Is it, is it a graffiti wall? Yes. Is it uh, kind of a, a feel-good environment? Yes. Is it an art gallery? Yes. Is it a game? It's, it's, it's multifaceted. So people have to think about that. If, if you just said, oh, well, only 671 people have worked on this, and if it's a game, that would be kind of pathetic, all right? But if you said six, oh, almost 700 people worked on one art project, and it's all registered on the blockchain, and, and, they could actually, and it's still going on right now, that's actually a milestone in art history. Like, so I come from an art background. That is a big deal. And then what you're going to find is, okay, this is kind of weird. It's not, I don't know, is it aesthetically pleasing? Maybe, maybe not. But when we change the tokenomics of it, and we did, you're going to see a different, a different visual later. So actually altering the, the tokenomics of how this plays out alters the visual image. So we're, we're really creating cutting at art history milestones here. And um, I'll show you a few examples in a bit, but um, you could see, you know, I, I'm doing some little characters over here and then somebody else comes through and just kind of splatters dots all over. And if, if I don't mind, I'm okay. Or if I could, I could pay them to paint over these pixels. That's how it works. You know, there's, there, there's all sorts of things. It's kind of crossed between graffiti, art, and it's, it's, it's just one of our many apps that I'm going to highlight. You obviously, you pay. You could draw for free on your desktop, but if you want to register those, those pixels on the blockchain, now you've got to buy the pixels. And you could, we have two different versions, one where you pay an EOS and one where you pay an Arpixios token. And, you know, you could see how it'll show you a little, a little thing here. Oh, well, uh, do you really want to do this? You have your scatter wallet. You could also do it on mobile as well. That's kind of how that works. This is another example of what you're doing with the wallet. There's a lot of fail states to so make sure you don't accidentally spend all, you know, spend a couple EOS on it. So uh, it, it's an exciting thing. Um, here's an example. Somebody, uh, somebody wrote a swear word here. Uh, you can see an F here. I'm not going to spell it out. I'm a family guy here. But they wrote a swear word here, and I zoomed in, and I'm like, you know what? Let me paint a little face over that to, uh, to cover up the swear word. So I had to pay... Uh, extra to cover up this person's swear word, but that's what I want to do. So I'm kind of cleaning up. I'm also uh, earning crypto. I'm paying crypto, and I'm creating art and and moving the moving the art further down the line. So, so you could see uh, you could see this pixel here. It, it shows you. There's an explorer here. You press the I. It shows you. Oh, this pixel here was painted over only one time, and it was painted by the by. Uh, by, by myself here. 
All right, and then you could see here uh, this other fella who possibly made the swear word. Maybe, maybe he could, but he owns this pixel. I left that alone. It was painted over one time. And so you could see there's some that are painted over two times. This is another piece I did within the big canvas. The guy's wall mouth was originally white. Somebody came in, be a smart person, and they want to make it black. If I want to paint over that, now nah, I'm going to paint over it a third time and pay. So, so it, it creates new dynamics for art. It's very, very uh, interesting. Uh, very interesting dynamic to do there. So uh, once the canvas is completed, we'll, we'll take it down and put it in the, uh, our rare digital art gallery. And uh, then it'll be, uh, you could auction it, bid on it, own it, trade it, sell it, all those great things. And here's just another little zoom in of it. And then we'll start a new version too. So it's, it's really is art history in the making. Here's an example. We changed the tokenomics, issued a new one for cheaper on our token, Pixios. And because it was a lot cheaper and people were more likely to paint over each other, you can see it's more aesthetically pleasing. And this is still something you could paint on now. It's one of our uh, games. It's called Pixios Paint FE for Flash Edition. That's FE. You can see how many artists worked on it, 140. And there's still more that can be. Uh, here's uh, a, a zoom in of that. You can see the original. You, you see the graffiti-ness of this. So, you know, the, it's kind of people branding stuff, cranking art. It's all together. The, the originally, this area focused on that. It says Dice One. Somebody put that in for their brand. Um, and then uh, somebody wrote, uh, turned it into a swear word. Then I came back in. Uh, put some happy faces there. So it, and they may come in and put swear words, hopefully not, but that's just kind of how that, it's a strange environment. So that's just one of our games. There we have other games. You log in with Scatter and you can play these other games. We have Block Creatures 3000, Pixios Paint Arcade. We have all different arcade games. And um, there's rewards for multiplayer. You could join a Legion uh, to hear some more games. We just have a lot of different things going on. It's a multifaceted universe we've created. There's a slot machine uh, right now where you just get tokens back if you win. Uh, it's exciting. Our gallery is coming out soon. I'll just run through a few of the artists' uh, images that are going to be for sale there. There'll be many. Here's Fabiola, Fabi Yamada. She's an amazing artist uh, from Mexico. Uh, here's one I created called the Rare Digital Art Avengers. Uh, another Hoddle Wheels, um, Nanu Burks created this, uh, another one from Nanu, she's one of our featured artists. We also did an avatar maker, this thing is actually one of the most used block, uh, apps on the, uh, around, I think every 15 seconds you get a, uh, it gets used, every 15 seconds somebody on the blockchain is using our avatar maker to create avatars and they are actually on the blockchain, five different projects are using it right now. We have a wearable art shop as well, so you could turn the art into you know, t-shirts and things like that. You can join our Telegram, of course, hear more about it. And, um, and uh, that's it. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. I'll be around uh, the next few days. Thank you.